Welcome to this week's video. Uh, we have been told by a few people that we always seem um, sad and down and upset and things are always breaking and that is true. Um, but we do really enjoy living on a boat as well, obviously, or we wouldn't be doing it. Um, and then I also wanted to correct a few things from last week's video that, um, not correct, but um, explain a couple things. Um, we don't use a French press. We don't like them. We don't want glass on the boat. Um, coffee pot's glass. Coffee pot's glass, but it's kind of in like a housed, Ouch. like it's like in a housed little space. Um, but uh, we just prefer just the percolating. It's what I like. Um, it's just what Chris likes. Um, so that's why we use that. Um, why do we not have water? a water, five gallon water jug. Uh, West Marine was out when I went, so I just used what I had and I knew we were going to fix our generator. Why did I not go into a marina to get water? Again, Chris was super busy and he has to hand pull in the anchor and to move an hour in our slow boat to a marina to get water. It's just faster and more convenient for me to just haul water back and forth and I didn't mind doing it. And now Chris is installing our generator part. So I'm sitting on the floor watching him and I'm gonna show you just a little bit of uh, him replacing the heat exchanger because it's a cooling issue. The generator was overheating. And then hopefully we'll show you some fun stuff this week too because we really do love living on a boat and a lot of good stuff happens. So let's go to the fun stuff too. We are a family of five from Texas who sold everything to live full time on our 1987 Marine Trader Tradewinds 47. We have three boys, Carter, Chase, and Caleb. We also have two cats aboard, Cheddar and Tiger. For two years, we have enjoyed cruising, exploring, beautiful sunsets, loads of family fun, and brotherly bonding. We also enjoy exploring the water, snorkeling and diving. In the Florida Keys, the Bahamas, and who knows where to next. We want to say a special thank you to all of our patrons. Got our heat exchanger today for the generator. It's been about a week or so. Looking forward to making water, not having to haul water. Looking forward to hot showers. And um, it's just so much quieter than the, having to run the big engines. Here we go. Did you get the old heat exchanger out yet? No. No, I see it. It's still down there. I had to pull all my zip ties off that were holding on my cooling lines in the, from rubbing on the belt. Oh, we need to put the zip lines all back, huh? Probably. Or is that what caused the problem? I should have done a little more diagnosing before I... Why? What happened? Well, I knew the heat exchanger was bad and needed to be replaced. But... Do we have a leaking hose? No, a water pump um, snapped off. If you can see, there it is. That is rotted off. Carter. That's just snapped. And that would be why we're having a cooling leak issue. So that's where it coated off inside there. You got bubs? Is it metal? Yes. So we need a new one of these anyway? Yeah, I'll have to order one of those. That looks disgusting. Old versus new. So this is a fresh water pump, you can see right here. This pump right here circulates the coolant. We suck water out of the ocean, so we're going to call that raw water. You suck raw water out of the ocean, and it goes through this heat exchanger. It goes into one of these tubes, and it goes out the other. And then it goes out the exhaust and out the boat. This, the fresh water is coolant and that goes in the other tube and comes out this one so when it pat when both those liquids are passing through this heat exchanger the heat from the engine which is in the coolant transfers to the raw water and goes overboard without polluting it just changes the heat to the temperature of the water well the fresh water pump that circulates the coolant that's where this hose connects and i had no idea that it had corroded off so what happened was salt water Inside here, there's tubes that crisscross each other, and they leaked, and so they were exchanging coolant and salt water, and the salt water got into the coolant system, and it just corroded this off um, pretty quick, too. 
So we're going to order a pump real quick and see how long that'll take. Do you have to wait to install all of it at the same time or will you still put that back on tonight? Um, I'll wait to install it all together because this hose goes to both. And it's just no point in spending more time than that. Okay, so like five minutes ago, you know how I said like we always act like, oh, everything's breaking <laughs> and we uh, have been told, don't you ever have fun on a boat? And I was like, yeah, we love living on a boat. This is great. You know, we have boat trouble. No, this sucks. Like we've waited a whole week and a half to get this part only this to find out we still need another part. Listen, it doesn't suck. That's just boat life. It's just the way boat life goes. You find a problem, you think you fix it, and then you find the actual problem. It, a boat project's not done until you've done it twice. So this is our first time. We'll do it again in a few days with the next part, and then we'll be fine. Everything's fine until it's not. <laughs> as long as you know in your mind that's the way life goes, it's fine. It's no big deal. Everyone's safe. The boat didn't sink. Nobody died. Well, it didn't sink because we, like, touched bottom today. It was so low. And then... We do have another gorgeous evening. I want to go night diving. It is beautiful out here. So, we do have a lot of fun living on a boat, even though even when it's broken. We go to the park a lot, play with friends. Uh, today, we're gonna pick up one of our friends from their soccer practice, uh, so we can play with them afterwards. So we're just here at the park, playing around. There's n like no one on the soccer field except the people practicing. So it's really fun, we can throw like tennis balls around and stuff. Hey. What? 30. 30? Nice. Oh, 39 and then it hit right here and bounced off. That kind of... It comes in 40 to go play soccer with some friends right now. Since we don't have a permanent address here in the Keys, we use a UPS store for our permanent address and we just have everything shipped into our UPS store, including gifts, mail, all of that so we got some fun things in the mail this week that I didn't realize were actually on my kids Christmas list well we had a company called newbie send us these little headphones and headsets for us this was actually on my Christmas list so thank you so much and uh we're gonna go home and test them out home, test them out we're doing unboxing Newbie sent these to us. They sent us a kids headphones and a Bluetooth headset for us to try out. For the headset, it comes in this nice little case. It's very soft. I like it. Nice. Now we're gonna open the kids headphones. Oh, yellow ear pieces. And actually, it looks more ice blue. Nice. For me to test these headphones, I got, got a phone out where I'm going to test them. I am plugging them in. It They feel very soft and cushiony. Even the head strap is very soft and cushiony. It has this little volume where it manually can go louder or quieter. Now when I test out it, if I get into it, the music just feels like it's going 
it's just everywhere like it's in me almost like I it's nice welcome to this week's edition of talking from my aft just yours today not mine not ours I usually do more than you do um I'm the sassy one um this week for sure that we are gonna talk about we're gonna talk about <laughs> is it worth it it's a question a lot of people ask is it worth it Living on a boat is what they mean. And I don't just think they're asking like the living on the boat portion. I think it also is, was it worth selling everything, changing your lifestyle, getting on the rat race? Yeah. And I think that's the, what, what do you think is the heart, like why do they ask that question? What is it they're really asking? I just think it's really hard. I think it's scary for people to leave everything they've known. and. I think it's scary to take the risk to go live on a boat or an RV or whatever new adventure you want to do to get out of the rat race. I think it's scary and so I think people really want to know like if I take that leap of faith it's going to be worth it. So what do you think? Yeah, it's the unknown. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds romantic, right? Living yep. on a boat. Yep. Um, if you watch any of our videos you know that it's um, not romantic. It's still hard work. <laughs> it's, it's still work. Everything breaks. But, um, I, and you know, to answer the question for me, it's a easy yes. Um, now, like right now, am I still working a, a job? Yes, I still have a job. I and mean, we still get up in the morning and go to work. And But, and could you, could you do what I do without living on a boat? Sure, you definitely could. This is crooked. This just looks crooked. Well, it's just also the sun is in my eyes. Oh, that's better. That's better. But so, yeah. so, but, but we made a choice to completely change um, location. Do something we enjoyed. Yeah, that was a huge key. So I think you could live a life like if you did something you truly loved. Um, and we just it took us a lot to figure out that we love being on the water. And then we now we're starting to fold back in all of uh, some of the other life, um, as far as um, you know, having local friends and being at a con connecting with a local church, because uh, we know we're going to be here for a little while. Um, but it, I'll never go back to a nine to desk five job. desk job. I say never. I better not say that. I just never know. Um, <laughs> so I'll make work office from now on. <laughs> I would say 100% it's worth it to leave everything to go pursue your dreams. Um, I don't have regrets. Sometimes I get sad that my kids aren't still with their friends from school in Texas. But I don't regret it. And then I would say overall every day I'd say yes, I'm glad we did this. But then days like today. Let's see how calm it is out there. It's been like three or four days. Like it's abnormally calm for this time of year, which is just, I mean, days like today, I just want to soak it in. And I take a million and one pictures because I'm just trying to capture it all. And so it's days like today that it's like, yeah, this is amazing. But yes. The big, the big thing for me was being on the boat makes us slow down. And so we have to, um, yeah, think through things, what's a priority, what's important. Yeah. And well, it doesn't allow me to just rush around. Also being down here in the Florida Keys, I don't know, I, it, we are on island time and the, and the fact that stuff closes, mm -hmm. right? There's nothing just 24 seven everywhere you want to go. Yeah. Um, and it just, it, and that was really nice about the Bahamas was that you were forced to slow down because mm -hmm. it just didn't have it. It just had to slow down. I think that's the biggest thing that I enjoy is the attitude and laid back lifestyle. And yeah. Like we got our generator parts in last night and I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to fix it today. We'll do, <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. I have time tomorrow. <laughs> we can make one more run of water. Yeah, we'll haul it we'll haul one more time. It's okay. We'll get around to it. Um, There's no problem, Mom. No problem. So worth it. For me, worth it. For me, worth it. Yeah. I think I'm also happier. Yeah. Angry. Oh, 100%. So, fun, funny fact, when Chris owned his own business in Texas, if we would, he just, he kind of got calloused towards people. Um, he owned a salvage yard, and so, of course, if you're calling a salvage yard, you're already angry because your car's broken. 
So he kind of got callous towards people because he was just dealing with mad people all day. And employees suck. And employees suck. So if we would go out to dinner or over to a friend's house or something, I'd literally look at him and I'd be like, just be nice. Tonight, just be nice. Because he was just kind of like, you know, so. You're nice. Thank you. You're happy. So for us worth it, um, Mm -hmm. I get that it's scary at first, the unknown. Not everyone has the personality for this. Um, If you're... We've really had to push our kids, especially our oldest. He's very organized and wants structure. Mm-hmm. And it's been great because actually he was... He's been pushed out of his comfort zone. He's been pushed zone. out of his comfort zone. Just yesterday we went out on a, on uh, the work boat and he got in the water and he was diving down uh, with friends of ours that were doing spearfishing and he was watching them mm-hmm. and you know the kid's in 100 feet of water. And that used to scare him. No way. And the current was ripping. I mean, it was really moving. And he knew exactly what to do to jump in and crawl up the lines that we put out. And mm-hmm. and he was just, at one point, he was hanging on to one of the uh, one of the guys, hanging on to their back just to not float away. Not float away. And, and it was just awesome. He was just part of the group. And he's really, he was really growing up. And uh, Chase got to go scuba diving again yesterday with us. Mm-hmm. In December. Yeah, in December, and it was it was just Nothing's. absolutely gorgeous. So I mean, yeah. uh, stuff that not everyone gets to do, except for maybe you know maybe once or twice in life they'll they'll do something like that. And, you know, I like this being our norm, our normal. I do. So, yeah. uh, if you got any other questions that you'd like to see us uh, answer, maybe chat, uh, talk about from our aft. Just uh, leave a comment or shoot us a message on social media. Mm-hmm. Um, everything, of course, is the wandering naps. But thanks for watching, and remember. Enjoy the journey. That's right, guys. See you next week.